Hello everyone. Welcome to our new LP. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the replacement for Terror from the Deep. This is UFO Alien Invasion. Uh, it's an XCOM clone, open source XCOM clone, created by uh, fans of XCOM, UFO, Defense, and uh, various XCOM-like games. Squad, so a single player, multiplayer, very cool, open source. This is the latest uh, uh, debug, uh, full, by, uh, full executable release I can get my hands on. Uh, so bugs are possible. In fact, I haven't really tested it thoroughly. And I'll be honest with you guys, I haven't. I've played this game as much as I can, and that's honestly what was taking so long uh, getting this out to you guys. And. Uh, so, I may suck at it. You'll be happy to hear, for you guys out there who are enthusiasts, that you cannot save on tactical maps. That's right. No saving. None. So, uh, you can save on the Geoscape, but not on the tactical maps. So, like I said, a single multiplayer. Uh, as far as I know. Sorry. Part of all yelling at me. <clears throat> Both these work perfectly. Obviously, our actual playable. There is a uh, stable version now uh, that you can get, of course. This is the next uh, version that I'm showing you guys some basic tutorials about what you can expect and uh, of course various options. You can even set it for a joystick if you like. Video settings are quite impressive. Uh, of course, I'm actually running this in windowed mode uh, just because I can and because I want to. Um, this frame per second, you can, see, you can see that. Very nice. This is completely open source, fully uh, uh, totally, uh, you know, self-made by people, by fans. It's one of the many XCOM clones. This is a pure XCOM clone. Not a pure XCOM clone. Because it, it's different than XCOM Return from the Deep. And I forget this would be a good starting point for you guys. And when I first found it, um, I knew, which was a long time ago, I knew I wanted to, uh, to do it for you guys. So check it out. So, yeah, all your basic stuff. Credits, of course, uh, the wonderful people involved, the time, and effort to make this wonderful game. So enough of this. You have a couple options for single player campaign and skirmish. Skirmish goes right into a tactical map that you can practice with, which is actually really cool. And of course, campaign is an actual uh, standard uh, campaign. You have a lot of different options here. As you can see, there are some differences in how things are. Um, since I suck, <laughs> we're going to do very easy. Uh, which will allow me to be pretty easy. Uh, so, we'll go ahead and start. information or backstory for you guys. Uh, year 2084, Earth, never more stable, blah blah blah. Uh, all this crap happened, etc, etc. Uh, lots of raiding! <laughs> uh, I'm not going to bother with it. You guys can read it for yourselves. Go out, download it, check it out for yourselves if you want to play it. Although, but you can stick with me and well, I'll pee. Let's play UFO Alien Invasion. Oh. Seven hours. Ah, we suck. 
thumb X. And that's basically who you are. You're instead of XCOM, you're in charge of Phalanx. Pretty much the same thing. This is definitely some new stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool to see. Obviously, still a work in progress. And of course, since it's open source, you know, anything can change. So welcome to the Geoscape. Very cool, right? So now we can decide. This is actually the new Geoscape. Uh, the one in the uh, stable release doesn't look quite as nice. They've been working really hard on this for quite a while now. And I gotta admit, it looks fucking sweet. Uh, so I'm very impressed. So, like I said, just get, as you can see, there's some mail. That's your actual status bar. The game is paused. Uh, you go to the mail, you can see your mail, etc. Welcome to the base, blah blah blah. Of course, the first thing you're going to do is decide where to put your base. Everybody knows that. Well, you guys know me. to our base. deal with your pilots. This is actually kind of cool. So we have our, basically our firebird here, and there's our actual just a little, uh, equipment. No item in slot.
how about we give him 